I'm Larry Van Pelt, and I'd like to welcome you to Niceville, Florida, the only town in the country named Niceville. Now I want to show you my uh, big studio where I do my drawing. Took a regular closet and turned it into a drawing studio. I got woke up right in the middle of the night, and I sat straight up in bed because I had this clear impression that I was supposed to do some drawings, and I could see these drawings. There were people in everyday occupations with one difference, Jesus in the background. I was under the distinct impression that this was a message from the Lord, and when the Lord tells you to do something, why well, you better pursue it. The whole idea of these drawings is to give encouragement to believe to Christians that, hey, Jesus is right there and he wants to encourage you, wants us to make the best of ourselves. And then the message I want to show here is that Jesus is concerned with the activity of the person. And you can see it's reflected in his hand expression and he's kind of saying, come on, let's go. Let's, you're doing it. You're working hard. Here's the carpet layer. And you can see here, Jesus is looking at him as if to kind of project a message to him that you're doing fine. This is the only guy I drew with muscles that big. And you can see this little bit of a tight jaw up there. I drew Jesus with this, kind of like he's lifting it too. He's gritting his teeth. You can see here, Jesus is applauding his efforts. See, he's intense on that. I didn't realize the intensity of juggling. He's entertaining. And Jesus in the background, if you look at that picture, he's saying, this is great. You're doing great. That's the kind of encouragement that he brings us, whatever we're doing. Here's the surgeon. I had one guy call, and he criticized me because Jesus didn't have a mask on, he didn't have gloves, and he was probably going to catch disease. I says, hey, this is Jesus, and he's a spirit. What's, the, what's going on? I think when you do something for the Lord, you get some feedback. Hi, I hate you. This one just said liar. You jerk. This is Jesus and I will sue you. You have a serious problem. I hope you can get yourself to a cuss word psychiatric facility ASAP. I bet you believe in Santa Claus too. Cuss word. I bet you believe in cuss word snorks and the little cuss word mermaid. Sin, seerly. You really have to ask the Lord to bless a person like that because she's really full of, uh, you know, bitterness. Perhaps you could subtend your talents to a depiction of the Bangladeshi sweatshop worker or perhaps the Air Force pilot who does protect our existence bravely carpet bombing indigenous tribes armed with terrible sharp sticks. Then uh, some of them say, well, why don't you show it with the, uh, the porn star, you know? I mean, well, I don't have any pictures of porn stars. Yeah, I do get some emails from people who admit they're non-believers, but yet you can see they're searching your artwork connected with me, and I quite honestly feel much better than I did when I sat down here. For that, I thank you. I'm not a Christian myself, but I found your page very touching and very inspiring. Here's somebody who was dying, helps a dying man cope. It moved me so to realize the power of Jesus is real and with me all the time. This makes it all worthwhile. That's the feedback that keeps me going.